In this video, you're going to hear about the most powerful kidney repairing supplement ever recorded and why you've never been able to get it. One patient, stuck on chronic dialysis, began taking just four capsules a day. In only three months, his kidneys seemed to wake from the dead. By May 2020, his creatinine was 1.41, and he had climbed back into stage 3 CKD. Here's the twist, this formula was hidden for years buried in a patent, locked away from the public. Until now. The man's name is Randy Thompson scientist, engineer, and dialysis patient with no insurance, no transplant, and no future, until he took matters into his own hands. Shut out by the system, he locked himself in a lab, scoured every study he could find, built a hypothesis, and created a supplement no one else could give him. What happened next was history in the making. In 2020, after just three months, Randy's kidney function was nearly normal. He went from dialysis level failure to stage 3 CKD. That's not luck. That's reversal. So, the real question is, did this actually happen? Be honest if someone told you a dialysis patient invented a supplement and got off dialysis, would you believe them? You should not without proof. Every time I post a story like this, I get a flood of comments from people calling it impossible. And honestly? That makes me proud of you. You should question everything you hear online. Seriously don't swallow every claim you see on the internet. Challenge the hype. Demand evidence. Because when something truly works, it doesn't need hype it as results. I say this because just recently, I heard from another patient who damaged their kidneys after following advice from a famous internet doctor recommending 30,000 IU of vitamin D every day. That's not a vitamin dose that's a superhero origin story. And yes, the ending was just as tragic, kidney stones. Now imagine having to tell someone their kidneys quit because they trusted the wrong influencer. Congratulations. Your kidneys have put in their two-week notice they're leaving to pursue a career as stones. So yes, I'm glad when you question my videos. Keep asking. Keep digging. Never take anything online at face value especially when your health is on the line. Now, let's get back to today's case. How do we know this really happened? How do we know Randy Thompson actually invented a supplement that helped him escape dialysis? First, the case report was published in a reputable, peer-reviewed medical journal. Second, it was co-signed by three highly respected doctors and professors people with serious credentials, including positions like chair of the American Board of Pediatric Nephrology. These aren't the type to risk their careers on a fake miracle story. And yes, they confirmed it was chronic kidney disease, not acute kidney injury. Third, Randy didn't just take his creation and quietly walk away he patented it. Think about it, if you'd invented the most powerful kidney supplement on earth, would you keep it to yourself? That's like finding the TV remote everyone's been hunting for and pretending you didn't. He named it ZB10 and formed a company called Zeta BioLenevity Incorporated. Naturally, the next question is, where can we get it? Well, here's the bad news. You can't. ZB10 never made it to market, and Zeta BioLenevity filed for bankruptcy in 2022. So yes, Randy found the remote, patented it, and kept it to himself. But here's the twist, when you patent something in the US, you have to reveal your secrets. Every ingredient. Every dose. The exact protocol. That's why Coca-Cola never patented its formula they wanted to keep it locked away forever. ZB10, on the other hand, is public record. 
That means we know exactly what was in the supplement that took Randy from dialysis-level kidney failure to stage 3 CKD. Of course, I can't tell you to reproduce it that would be illegal but I can explain how it works. And here's the big reveal, it's built entirely from simple, natural ingredients anyone can buy. The core? Antioxidants. Yes, the same science-backed compounds known to protect and improve kidney function actually did just that in Randy Thompson's case. Before I reveal the exact ingredients in this remarkable formulation, I want to ask you something. Should I try to secure the rights to sell it? Some of you already know I founded Rena Biotech with one mission providing kidney patients with supplements that are science-backed, effective, and safe. For example, I created Renobiotic, the world's first renal-specific probiotic, designed so gently that even people with IBS or gut issues can take it. I also developed Renab Best, the first renal multivitamin packed with kidney-protective antioxidants like delta and gamma tocopherols, selenium, CoP10, and methylcobalamin in the natural form of vitamin B12. I call it Renab Best because well, it's the best. Why mention all this? Because when I look at Randy Thompson's work, I can't help but think, this needs to be available to the public. While Renab Best includes powerful antioxidants, it's still a multivitamin. I don't yet have a pure antioxidant formula and that's exactly what Randy created. High dose, multi-antioxidant, tested on himself with results that shock even the doctors who wrote his case report. So here's my question to you, should I try to reach out to Randy and see if he's willing to bring his formula to market? Would you be interested in something like that? Sure, I could share all the ingredients, and you could hunt them down individually on Amazon but that's not the same as having them precisely formulated, tested, and combined in one convenient, safe, and proven supplement. Tell me what you think in the comments I genuinely want to hear from you. Alright, guys let's dive into the ingredients behind ZB10. This is the exact supplement Randy Thompson used to get off dialysis. Now, to be clear, what you're seeing here is not the exact recipe to recreate his product and for good reason. And while you're at it, Share this video with anyone who cares about kidney health, or keep it as your little secret. So, what's actually in this formula, and what do these ingredients do? Let's take a closer look. We've got, antioxidants essential for improving kidney function. Anti-inflammatory compounds great for anyone battling joint pain or arthritis alongside kidney issues. Circulation boosters aimed at improving blood flow to the kidneys. This is clearly more than just tossing a bunch of powders into a capsule. It's about the right ingredients in the right ratios, working together for a synergistic effect. Before you start channeling your inner breaking bad in the kitchen, let me show you how these supplements need to be taken for maximum benefit. We'll start with antioxidants because if you're my patient, you already know I'm borderline obsessed with them. Some come from your diet, some from your renal multivitamin, and some from targeted supplements. In fact, some of you are on so many antioxidants your urine could probably qualify as cold-pressed juice at Whole Foods. So, which antioxidants was Randy taking when he turned his kidney health around? Let's find out. First up tocotrienols. These are part of the vitamin E family, but with a twist, research suggests they pack even stronger antioxidant and anti-inflammatory power than regular vitamin E. In clinical trials, tocotrienol-rich vitamin E has even improved GFR in patients with diabetes. Here's the kicker the improvement stuck even after patients stopped taking it. That's rare. Usually, when you stop a treatment, the benefits disappear faster than your motivation on leg day. So, it's no wonder Randy Thompson made tocotrienols a cornerstone of his formula. 
The catch? They're not very bioavailable, so you need a fairly high dose to see results. Most supplements you find on the market use tocopherols instead the more common, more bioavailable form of vitamin E. In my own formulation, you'll find three different tocopherols, all in gentle doses because my supplements believe in being effective without overwhelming your system. Next, something you won't find in any multivitamin olive leaf extract. This is where things get really interesting. Olive leaf contains oluropine, a powerful polyphenol with exceptional antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Chronic, low-grade inflammation is a big driver of CKD progression and accelerates fibrosis, the scarring of kidney tissue. Olive leaf can help suppress this process, making it especially useful for prevention. Think of it as wearing a seat belt instead of kneading the jaws of life your kidneys would much rather avoid the crash altogether. And it doesn't stop there olive leaf also acts like a natural ACE inhibitor and can help control blood sugar levels. Then we have N-acetylcysteine, NAC, one of the most potent antioxidants on the planet for kidney protection. In the right dose, NAC can be taken long-term to shield your kidneys from oxidative damage. It's so strong, I didn't even put it in my multivitamin I want you taking it separately, first thing in the morning, in high doses, and on an empty stomach. Don't ask, just do it. Bottom line, if you have kidney disease, make sure you're loading up on antioxidants every single day whether from supplements, vitamins, foods, or drinks. They work, and they can change the trajectory of your kidney health. Now, if you take a closer look at the ingredient list, you'll see the three antioxidants. Randy's formula wasn't about tossing random supplements at the wall to see what stuck it was a calculated strike. This wasn't designed to just support the kidneys. It was built to smack kidney failure across the face and say, not today. Which brings us to the anti-inflammatory side of the formula. Normally, I'd recommend some of these ingredients to someone whose knees can predict the weather not to someone trying to regenerate kidney function. Two years ago, if you'd asked me whether joint supplements could help with CKD, I would have laughed and said, only if your knees are in your kidneys. But Randy had a different theory one that actually makes sense. He believed these compounds could help repair the endothelial surface layer the smooth inner lining of your blood vessels. Think of it like redoing the wallpaper inside your circulatory system so everything flows cleanly and efficiently. One standout here is natokinase, a natural enzyme that acts like a gentle blood thinner. It can improve circulation reduce clot formation, and lower blood pressure. But big warning if you're already on prescription blood thinners, combining them with natokinase is like using vodka as mouthwash, technically possible, but a very bad idea. And then there's the final boss, lactoferrin. This protein may help combat anemia, the unofficial mascot of kidney disease. It's so common, I sometimes wonder if CKD and anemia are running a two-for-one deal. I haven't done a deep dive video on lactoferrin yet, but if you want one, drop a comment and I'll bump it to the top of my list right after I convince the internet that overdosing on vitamin D is not a personality trait. So that's the full breakdown. Now I want to hear from you should I create a kidney patient-friendly version of this formula? Let me know in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one.